Nori here and I'm back with another video. Don't mind how I look y'all. I just got out of school and I came straight into my office so I can bust out some of these orders. I decided to go ahead and film a DIY budget binder so you guys can see how I make my binder. So y'all this light is flickering. Please describe that. But anyway I decided to go ahead and film a DIY budget binder so you guys could see everything that I use, how I make my binders and how much i paid for everything so those out there who are thinking about getting into customizing their own things doing diys and who could possibly be interested in this keep on watching this video first thing you'll need is a binder of course but i'm not working with this red one because this red one already has the envelopes in it so i'm going to go ahead and start with this one so this is one order and this is another order. So since that one already have envelopes in there, I'm gonna go ahead and do this one for you guys on camera. Um, I got this binder from Amazon. It is called the A6 binder. You can get it from Amazon or you can get it from Michaels. Second thing you'll need is some scrapbook paper. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut this into the size of an envelope. Third thing you'll need is a paper cutter. I got this paper cutter from I got this paper cutter from Michaels. I will have to look up how much I paid for it again and then I will leave that on the side. So everything I used and how much I paid for it, I will put it on the side right here so that you guys can see it because I can't remember it off the top of my head. So I will have to look look everything back up. So you're gonna take your scrapbook paper. You don't want the scrapbook paper to be too thick because if it's too thick it's gonna be hard um, for the laminated paper to stick to it. So, sorry you got bad lighting and everything. But yeah, you don't you don't want the scrapbook paper to be too thick because you want it to be able to stick to the laminated paper. It's gonna be seven by six. So the width you want it to be seven inches. So I drew a little line at the seven inch mark, and then what I'm gonna do is. Yeah, it's kind of hard recording with one hand, but I hope y'all could get the just my little mark against the ruler so I can draw a straight line down so I know exactly where to cut it at. To the top, and then you're gonna go to the six inch mark and create a line right there. Six inch mark. Next, what I'm going to do is, I want y'all to be able to see me. I don't know why. Yeah, there line the paper up. The line is right here. So what you're gonna do is line the paper up with the paper cutter. Make sure that line is like in this in this line right here so that it could cut straight down. And then once you got it lined up, you're gonna close that and then you're gonna just go all the way down. So you're gonna just cut straight down and then it should just come off like that. Then you're gonna do the same for the line in the middle. The cardstock paper that I use is 12 by 12. And then when you do these measurements, you should get you should be able to make two envelopes with each piece of paper. So next what I do with the paper is I fold it in half. All right, now that I got all these envelopes, I'm gonna go ahead and laminate them. And I'm gonna show y'all exactly how I do that too. Take my laminating sheet, and what I'm gonna do is open it up. I'm gonna place one envelope like that. I put the open ends of the envelopes facing the outside so that when I cut it, it could just open up. 
Y'all be able to see what I'm talking about in a minute. But yes, you want to do it spaced apart like that so that you could be able to cut it without, you know, messing up the other ones. And then I'm going to go ahead and put it through my laminator. It should look like this once it's done laminating. So I don't know if y'all can see it, but there's like a line right there. Those are the lines you do not want to cut on because you don't want it to open up. It's like all around. So you only want to cut one side, which is this side right here, so that you could be able to put your cash in it. But if you cut all the other lines open, it'll basically open up. So if you put your cash in it, basically, you know, you don't want it falling out or nothing like that. You want it secure. So what I'm gonna do is cut one of the openings. Just like that. After I cut that off, what I'm doing is moving it up just a little bit so that it can cut straight down. Just a little bit so that this little room right here is enough for me to hole punch and put it into a binder. And then I'm gonna cut the sides off. That is how you make a cash envelope for your binder. And now I'm gonna show you guys how I make labels and put them on the envelopes and also how I use my Cricut Maker to create a custom design for the binders. All right, so now that I got all 10 of her envelopes in there, what I'm gonna do is, so she just wants her name on it. So I'm gonna use my Cricut Maker to put her name on it. I have the Cricut Explorer Air 2. I got this from Amazon. And like I said, on the side, I'm gonna let y'all see how much pay for everything open it first then turn it on I messed up so right here I keep all my tools in here so you mainly just need this one so if you guys want to see how I got like these designs and stuff like that I can go I can make a separate video and go more into detail on how I got all of these designs for you but in this video I'm just gonna show you guys how to do just a simple name. They got a little text. And then what's the box of here? You gotta type in whoever. You gotta type in your name or whoever's name. That's going on the binder. And then you gotta go to the font right here. And then you gotta look for a font. Now some of them you will have to pay for if you want. Like this one right here says for Thank you. 
my all the hair on this mat. It is so freaking sticky and everything sticks to it. This button is blink, so You never want to just pull it out. You want to always click this button so that it can release it. And then, so you guys, I don't know if y'all can see it, but her name is Ray. Alright, so you're going to take this right here and basically just pick. Oh, wait. Make sure that it's sticking to the mat. So far, my K is out. And then now I'm just gonna So once you got it out, you wanna go ahead and get the like circles in the middle of the E and the A. So just like that. Next, you're gonna take the transfer paper. So I got some transfer tape right here. And then you're gonna make sure it covers your design or your name. You're gonna take this little tool right here. You should be able to like fill the letters through the paper. If you can't fill it through the paper, then keep going. And once you're done with that, you take the transfer paper. Put it like right here at the bottom. So, I'm gonna put it at the bottom of the top. And I don't do it. 
just like that, it's on there. Super cute, right? So she got her binder with her name on it and her envelopes. And then I'm going to show y'all how I put my labels on there and everything else. And I'm going to finish up this order. I have a pen, my business card. Make sure y'all go follow my Instagram if y'all want to shop with me. Also, if y'all want to see how I made my own business cards, I'll leave that in the comments below and I definitely will make another video going into more detail. more videos y'all want to see how I package my binders how I create the labels how I create business cards and everything make sure y'all like this video make sure y'all comment below make sure y'all subscribe and stay tuned for more videos also I want me to give y'all an entrepreneur vlog or any type of vlog any suggestions just leave that in the comments below thank y'all so much for watching this video stay tuned for more and don't forget to subscribe